So we've measured the house. We've got all our little nooks and crannies. And we got this tree out here that's in the middle of nowhere. So how do we plot that so that we can put it on a design? How do we measure it so that we can plot it onto a design? We're going to use a process called triangulation, which is super, super simple. Jack here is going to give me a hand. And Jack, you're going to hold this right on this corner because we know that corner. We know where it is. And there's a couple of different ways that we could do this. We could measure sort of guess where the center of the tree is. But it's much easier, and we have to be consistent about this, if we measure from the front of the tree. So we're going to measure two points to the front of the tree. So you're going to hold that nice and tight, because if the tape measure isn't tight, then it doesn't give you the right measurement. And we're going to hold it fairly level. And we've got 15 feet, 9 inches. And we also have a tree that is two foot, one foot eight. So it's one foot eight in diameter. So eventually we're gonna lay down a one foot eight inch circle touching these two lines. So we got that. And now Jake, you're gonna stand right at the corner of that step there because we took those measurements earlier and hold the tape measure there. And we're gonna measure it to the same place, more or less, on the tree that we did last time, nice and tight. Nice and level. And now we've got 26 feet, 3 inches. So we've got those two measurements. And we've written them down carefully. And now we're going to go to whatever program you use, uh, Dynascape, whatever. Or if you're doing it the old-fashioned style with pencil and then, uh, what do you call the little arky thing? Protractor. Compass. Oh, protractor. Very good. Like I know what I'm doing. Uh, boy, it's been a long time since I've done paper designs. And in Dynascape, you would make a circle that was 26 feet 3 inches, and we'd mount the center of it at that corner over there by, by Jack, and we would now have an arc that somewhere crosses here. We make another circle that's the distance that we got from here, and where those two circles cross, those two arcs cross, that is precisely the point at which our one foot eight inch circle of the tree would sit. And so those two arcs where they cross gives us our triangulated point to where the tree is. Nice and simple.